let us say we have a block of mass m resting on a rough horizontal surface. The coefficient of friction between the block and the surface is mu. And suppose the question was slightly different. What is the minimum horizontal force required to move a block on a rough horizontal surface? Then the solution would have been quite easy. So, here is a horizontal force F applied on the block to make it move to the right and for equilibrium in the vertical direction, we have the normal force N equal to mg and when the block is about to move to the right, the frictional force would reach its maximum value and will be equal to mu times n. And therefore, F would be equal to the opposing frictional force and then we have F equal to mu times n that is equal to mu mg. So, the minimum force required to move the block is mu times mg, but that is not what the question says. There is no constraint about the direction of the applied force. It need not be horizontal. It can be in any direction like this. F pulling the block at an angle theta with the horizontal. So, the problem essentially boils down to finding the most optimum angle theta at which the magnitude of the force F would be minimum. So, here is the FBD of the block with the applied force F at an angle theta with the horizontal. We will first do qualitative analysis of the problem and handle the maths part a little later. Keep in mind that our objective is to find optimum angle theta at which f is going to be minimum. So, we are going to write the equilibrium equations first in the vertical directions. So, we have n plus f sin theta minus mg equal to 0. So, n or n equal to mg minus f sin theta. Note that n is not a fixed quantity. It has a dependency on the angle theta also. So, that is our equation number 1. When the block is about to move, the frictional force reaches its maximum value and therefore, F cos theta would be equal to mu times n. So, F cos theta equal to the maximum frictional force that is equal to mu times n. That is our equation number 2. So, now let us analyze the effect of gradually increasing the angle theta from 0 degrees that is from the horizontal position on two entities maximum frictional force opposing the motion and f cos theta the component of the applied force in horizontal direction that is responsible for making the block move. So, when theta increases we make a note of it. So, when theta increases it means sin theta increases. Remember that sin 0 is 0 and sin 90 degrees is 1. So, when theta increases, sin theta increases and when sin theta increases, n that is the normal reaction force reduces because we are subtracting f sin theta from a fixed quantity mg and since n reduces, the frictional force 
which is mu times n also reduces. So, fr maximum also reduces. So, the impact of increasing theta that is when we apply the force at a steeper angle the frictional force keeps reducing. Let us examine the effect of increasing theta on the horizontal component of the force which is responsible for motion. So, when theta increases cosine theta reduces that means the horizontal component magnitude of the applied force reduces. So, you can see that increasing theta reduces the maximum friction force and that is a favorable effect because lower the friction, lower would be the external force required to move the block, but increasing theta has adverse effect on f cos theta. It goes down especially when theta is close to 90 degrees that is when that is the applied force is almost vertical, in which case the applied force will have to be quite large. So, that when multiplied with cos theta it is good enough a quantity to overcome the frictional force. So, the angle theta should not be large. So, as to keep the horizontal component f cos theta at a reasonable level. So, the conclusion of the discussion is that the angle theta should neither be too small that is close to 0 degree nor should it be very large that is close to 90 degrees. So, the optimum value of theta therefore, should be midway for obtaining minimum value of the applied force. So, now we will do little maths to work out this optimum value of theta and then calculate the magnitude of the force f. So, here we have done the same FBD of the block showing the applied force at an angle theta and now we write the equations of equilibrium first in y direction that gives us n plus f sin theta minus mg equal to 0 and that gives us n equal to mg minus f sin theta which is equation number 1. We write the equilibrium equation x direction the sum of forces in x direction is equal to 0 and remember that when it is a case of impending motion that is the block is about to move the frictional force will attain its full value that is mu times n and therefore, f cos theta minus mu n will be equal to 0. We plug in the value of n here. So, f cos theta minus mu times the expression for n as in equation number 1 equal to 0 rearranging the terms we get f times this expression equal to mu mg and therefore, f would be equal to mu mg divided by cos theta plus mu sin theta. Note that this is not the minimum force given a certain angle this equation will tell us the force required to make the body move. The angle theta is left to our choice and having selected an angle theta, this equation will give us the value of f required to make the block move. So, this is not the minimum force. Now, in order to get the minimum magnitude of the applied force, this expression in the denominator should be maximum and in order to obtain the maximum value, we will have to differentiate this expression with respect to theta. And we differentiate the denominator and equate it to 0. Differentiating this would yield minus sin theta plus mu cos theta equal to 0. Simplifying, we would get tan theta equal to mu or theta is equal to tan inverse of mu. So, at this angle, this optimum angle of tan inverse mu, the force F would be minimum. And in order to compute the value of this minimum force, we need to have cos theta and sin theta. And here is the expression for sin theta and cos theta if tan theta is mu. 
and that we obtained from a right angle triangle. This is theta. So, tan theta is mu over 1 that is mu. Hypotenuse would be under root 1 plus mu square and therefore, sin theta will be mu divided by under root 1 plus mu square and similarly, cos theta would be equal to 1 divided by under root 1 plus mu square. We plug in these values of sin theta and cos theta into this expression and we get the magnitude of f. So, now this is f minimum when we plug in the value of sin theta and cos theta considering theta equal to tan inverse mu. So, simplifying this expression we get f minimum is mu mg upon under root 1 plus mu square. So, that is our answer. So, this is the magnitude of the force which is minimum and should be applied at an angle theta equal to tan inverse mu in order to make the block move. Recall that when a horizontal force was applied, the minimum force required to make the block move was mu mg and we should verify whether this is lower than mu mg when the force is applied at an angle theta. Mu as you know is a positive quantity. So, 1 plus mu square will be greater than 1 and under root of 1 plus mu square will also be more than 1 and when we divide mu mg by any quantity which is more than 1, we will get f minimum lower than mu mg. So, it is advantages to apply the force f at an angle theta rather than keeping it horizontal and theta should be equal to tan inverse mu. So, that is it. Thank you for watching and if you liked it, please give your thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.